So what I'm now going to do is show you what happens when we apply the prompts to that service. So we now change roles. We, we become a VUI designer, and uh, we start using the XMP Studio tool to configure the prompts. It's very easy to access from the tool. We can get a list of all the prompts, and you'll see on there that one of those is marked as dynamic. That's the prompt that previously I allocated to be something we can change at runtime. Uh, I'm now going to go in and enter the uh, prompt for the main menu of the service. So I'm entering the text here, and that will be rendered as text-to-speech, but we do have the option, of course, to introduce a voice recording for that prompt at a later date. And we can add some notes. Uh, I'm going to give the uh, voice talent some notes on how to say this prompt. So that's that one done. I'll just choose another one here. Okay, so we're going to play that back the balance. And of course, we need to be able to join information together. We need to be able to play text as well as to play variable information, uh, uh, numbers, and so on. Here, we need to insert a variable, which is going to be um, the balance of our account. And I'll insert the customer balance variable that, if you remember, we set earlier. There's a number of ways of, number of, ways of playing that back. I'm going to use concatenated audio, which is speech files uh, joined together to play that back. And uh, finally, just cover another prompt. Now, in this instance, I'm going to use a, um, a prompt that I know I've already got recorded. So I, I can introduce uh, a pre-recorded prompt into the service simply by dragging and dropping. I can just find that on my file system, drag that into the service, and uh, that will be incorporated into the service when we generate it. Again, I can finally add some notes. Uh, be gentle with the caller. And that's us configured some prompts. We can now export this as a recording script. Uh, this will allow us, we can provide the script to the recording engineer, uh, and it will list all the prompts. The voice artist will be able to see everything we've asked them to say, and they'll also get the notes that we've asked uh, them to, to take account of. So we can export that. And the other thing is, once we've done the recording, we can actually re-import that recording schedule and all the recording files that have been made, and they will automatically be populated back into the tool and appear in the right place in the service. So very, very, uh, it really is a very simple sort of click, uh, click, drag and drop kind of process for doing that. So that's Studio. We've uh, we've now created our prompts. So the third element to, to the tool is the runtime element, and here we actually have to uh, deploy our service and manage it whilst it's in life. So again, I'll very, very quickly run through that process for you. So this time we're using uh, console, which is live and administers the system in, in real time, and we log in using our own private uh, password. And this shows us the VXEs, or the virtual IVRs, that we've got allocated, and any of the applications that are running on there, and also their state. And we can see that we've got three applications running here. We can deploy a new service simply by hitting the Browse button and then the Deploy button. And that will deploy to every uh, server that we've got. We can also see some real-time information under Analytics as to what applications are running and how many calls are in progress. If we click on an application, we can then, that, then get much more detailed information about what that application itself is actually doing. We can uh, actually in, incorporate configuration uh, in, into, the, into the console so that you don't have to go to any other files or edit any other files or databases to do configuration. We can support timed activation and deactivation of, of the services. And again, we can drill down into analytics that are particular to a single application. As you'd expect, we've got uh, platform logging, which details every aspect of, of what the application the platform is doing at any moment in time to varying degrees of uh, levels. And of course, user logging, where the application developer can actually submit their own logs into the system, so we can use that for debugging and tracing. And of course, uh, we can see the voice XML that the application is generating. It's worth remembering that this is a, this is a Java application that's uh, running and generating voice XML for us. 
And finally, if we look at the, the feature of dynamic prompting, we have a prompt here in the, in the service that's allocated as dynamic, and that's a prompt that we can change on the fly even whilst the service is running. All we need to do to do that is open a box and find the new prompt on our file system and submit that, and that will actually immediately redeploy that prompt across our application uh, and allow us to change it. So that's a, a piece of functionality that you might give to a call center manager, uh, to a marketing or, or brand manager, someone who has uh, some simple control over the uh, look and feel of the application.